Reading from afar, I had a sketch of an evolving social conflict along the northern coast of Honduras before I arrived. I did know that the Garifuna community had sought refuge there after a failed slave uprising. But what I did not know was that in the last decade, foreign investors, in particular Canadians, had come to buy their lands. Their idea for development relies on the recent creation of a port for cruise ships, along with large parcels of land that would be sold to residential owners. Trujillo is a town of about 10,000, home to the Garifuna community, who collectively share the surrounding agricultural lands. While they would welcome a degree of tourism, the challenge for them is to keep their culture intact in the process. Rather than support the local community concerns, the Honduran government has argued in international court that the Garifuna are immigrants and not indigenous people. Therefore, they would not have rights to their land titles. With a sense of their future at stake, the Garifuna have now started a movement to recuperate these contested lands. I met some of those who were threatened, arrested, and assaulted as they fight for what they believe is theirs both in the courts and on the land. It seems like an inevitable collision of values with an ongoing struggle for mediation.